Hello everybody. So today we have a Opel Zafira, which one is 2013 year made. It's a 2.0 diesel engine and here we have the ECU. So what the problem is, um, we actually changed the alternator and the alternator was 140 amps. We put on 100 amps alternator and we got a fault on. So when you start the engine actually, you just a little bit accelerate and you had a fault. Service system, uh, this is a charging system. So yeah, there's a problem with the alternator, probably with the some uh, Opel original tool you can do uh, adoption of alternator or stuff like that but in our case we plug it in a diagnostics and we see that there is a fault about that we had a basically alternator signal faulty and the uh, voltage too low so the fault is P2500 so the fault is uh, showing alternator load signal voltage too low um, that's probably because is the problem with the um, alternator. Alternator is brand new. So what we're gonna do, we're going to clear out the faults. And it says faults all cleared out. So let's go ahead and see if there is a fault. And of course there's no faults at all. But it doesn't matter because when you start the car it goes fault again. So what we need to do, we need to reprogram the ECU. Now we're removing the covers. Uh, before thing you have to unplug the battery minus to make sure not make uh, short contacts or do everything bad with the ECU this one we had a EDC 17 C 59 ECU unit and as you can see there is some clips we just need to get them off and uh, remove the old plastic cover so that's uh, not too bad now you need to unplug these plugs Plugs can be done easy. Here we go, the Bosch numbers. So this is ECU number. And uh, yeah, just removing those clips off. Pretty, pretty easy, I would say. Just a little bit into the dirt. So can be removed. Shorter side and wider side. pump it off okay let's go and see what we can do and normally these ECUs need to be opened if you want to read them with the another tool so in this case we're gonna just use a pins and we're gonna plug there with the wires we're gonna use seven wiring connect it to the tool so we can read it off and here we go we open up a software so in the software you can see then we choose the 71 protocol it's a uh, Bosch EDC 17 so it's using exactly uh, TC 17 um, uh, 67 so EDC 17 50, C 59 so there is a pin uh, segment this is how pins need to be pinned into the ECU to start reading would you like to use automatically power control line so in this case uh, you just click the no we don't want to do it automatically, we're going to do it manually. So what we need to do, get off completely ECU. So easiest way is just unplugging the minus port. So I already done it and you need after that ground, plug it back in. So you need to power up the uh, ECU again to start reading. So we just pop it in back into place. This pin is a grounded minus. Uh, when we done it, we just click it OK, that the ECU is powered back on. And as you can see, uh, we've done the verification. First of all, before the reading, so we need to see the software numbers and stuff like that. Just turn off the ECU again, and just pop it off the minus ground wire from the pin. That's it, very good. And click it OK so after clicking OK you can see the numbers and, 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 and hardware and serial number so after that we can see we are connected so make all check and read the main flash so basically would you use uh, automatically we click it no again the same thing we unplug the ECU 
minus and then we're gonna plug it back together so just click it OK and the process is start so it says ECU TC7067 it shows the percentage and the reading process and the main thing is a battery voltage so it's 12.2 volts because you need to hold the electrics on the normal battery voltage here you can see the flashing light which means the tool is connecting after that we're gonna use a Windows software now it says turn off ECU so just pop it out turn it off and let's click it OK button and basically now we are ready to save I already read them but let's go ahead and uh, save it save the file binary file so let's write it in all what we have so basically it's opel slash zafira slash 2.0 it's a hundred sorry 121 kilowatts on it and then it's a 2013 year made and uh, it's EDC 17 C 59 so done I would say we read the file and now we did save it so it says checksums are correct so it's read it and already calculated the checksums so that's okay pretty fine and go ahead and do next step we can see then how read it and now we need to go ahead and see where the fault is about the alternator we had the open it maps we had the open it uh, fault table and as you can see there is a basically two tables which one one of these is a p codes another one is a switch codes so switches and then codes let's go ahead and see what exactly do we need is uh, mainly we not using um, a switch code table we're just using a p code table so go ahead and see what the codes is here we go these are all codes what we need so just pump it up to see a little bit better so each code has a limit uh, when it's reaching and it's showing the code on the car dash so in this case we just go ahead and let's see the faults what they actually is before that we're gonna use a, uh, choose a car so it says Safira 2.0 121 kilowatt on it and uh, yeah just go ahead and see troubleshooting in troubleshooting we need the engine management in engine management we go ahead and see EDC 17 C 59 ECU go ahead and uh, see troubleshooting because we go to fault code table and we want to see all faults um, which been lined to the alternator basically and here in the search box we can just hit it what we actually like so we hit our fault basically two five zero zero so here we go uh, this is the fault alternator load signal uh, signal too low so let's go ahead and see where the fault is inside of the software so we can match let's go pop these things back on yeah that's right and now we can see that there's a fault so it's uh, 2500 2500 p code there is a no just only p number on so just pop it up as zero so we actually uh, switch off the code and with the code is switched off i would say this uh, uh, pretty easy way we just go ahead and see what another codes means but actually we need just only this one code which one is unique and which one is actually in the car so definitely in this way we can do all other codes if we need there is some more codes for the with the alternator but we don't need to use them we just use this one with the uh, voltage problem so after after we find out that the voltage too low then we understand 
and we can switch that thing off. Of course, this is another thing, the fault on the top is about the alternator as well. So that is about too high. So we can do that one as well. And in this case, this is how we go uh, through the all, all faults, what we have in memory. So F circuit, so this one is voltage too low again. This code is uh, next one after the previous. So basically, uh, usually codes is located uh, each other after. So basically one, then we get another one, then we had a next one. And just zeroing them, you can get them off. And then, then basically it's the, it's the one of the easiest way how to do the code job. This is just about the codes. So for now, let's go ahead and we can check it in the diagrams. Uh, checking in the map system is another thing what we need. We need this map. Uh, this map you can recognize pretty easy with the zeros because the first side is a flat, another side is the height. So what we need to do, we make the basically the front size a bit higher than the back side. So this is money main very important. So you just pop it, lift it up like that, and when you see this curve, the curves rep represents the fault uh, dictionary. So when you all this done, just Pop it in and then let's save the file. File has been saved. And then we go ahead and see where the file is. And file, here we go, the DTC off. It's a P2500. So what we need to do now is pop this file back in. So after, after that, you just uh, have to check if there is a checksum correct. So just go ahead and click the write button. Because we need to write this file back into the ECU. And uh, here you go, use the right optimization, that's what we need. Other things we don't want to do, we don't want to unlock it. We can do it for all better reading and writing, but it's not so important. For now we just do a, do a checksums correction. Checksums was corrected, continued, that's right, yes, we want it, continued. And again the same, we're going to do a ignition switch off. And let's go ahead, just uh, hit the button and uh, here you go we're passing the security and starting the reading so it's skipping some uh, some uh, points so you just skip them and keep writing in so after some while <clears throat> we done the reading sorry the writing uh, writing completed now we just remove the ECU from the all wirings just pop these things back on the place and just make sure you get a good contact and uh, you do it when the battery is unplugged because if the battery is plugged you can do some damages so this is very important yeah that's right just pop it in so before all that we just use of course a test and let's put the battery <coughs> minus back on after that of course you need to delete all faults because probably you're getting a couple of faults on the dash. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Do we delete the code or not? As we can see, ignition is on. That's okay. Can we start the car? We can try. My bonnet is still open, but it's, it's okay. Mm, that's right. Car is start. It's normally do always like that. It had the starts and all lights like a Christmas tree is on and looks perfect so what we need to do just a little bit accelerating then we need the test drive and to see if all is running so i would say in this point we have to look if there is any faults and if there is no faults then we can say then the fault clearing and deleting was successful programming ecu was successful we now need to open ecu this is a main thing and uh, just yeah, we can see there is no volts, and go ahead and see actual values do actually we have a charge, because this is very important. If the battery is not charging, then we had a big problems. His alternator is not the original one; it's a little bit smaller. And here you go, the charge is perfect, and the signal for terminal F is perfect. For let's do acceleration, switch off some on some load. Yes, it works perfect. 
so what can I say in this point um, that deleting the codes is pretty easy just see if all working just test it and yeah done so thanks for watching leave a likes leave a comments and see you in the next video bye